Tricks Boost, an easy way to get extra performance out of your card without having to spend extra. It's free. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use it, what it does, and all that good stuff. So check it out. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and that little bell notification. That way you know when I come out with videos just like this. Sapphire Tricks Boost. What is it? What does it do and where can I get it? Well, Sapphire Tricks Boost, or Sapphire Tricks, should I say, is Sapphire's overclocking utility, Sapphire's card monitoring utility, and Sapphire's RGB utility for your cards that have RGB functions. Now, Sapphire Tricks has been around for quite some time and it's gone through a bunch of GUI changes and you know so it's gone through a lot of phases. Now since the AMD released the 5 series cards for example 5700 XT, 5700, 5500 and one day the 5600, Sapphire came out with Sapphire Tricks Boost. Now what is it? It allows you to tweak, get that extra performance without actually overclocking. So, for example, like the 5500, you might be able to play a game at, you know, 55 frames per second or 50 frames per second, but you want to get 60. You want to pass 60. Tricks boost to help you with that. And, you know, for higher end cards, like the 5700, you want to get that extra frames per second, you can get it with Trix Boost. And some of the older cards as well, not in the 5 series. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself on that. So, for example, I'm going to start recording on here. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up Trix Boost. So, here we can see the dashboard. It has the Radeon, everything about the card. I'm using the Sapphire Radeon RX 5500 Pulse. We can see here the live stats right over here. And then going over to hardware monitor, again, we can see the live stats, GPU clock, memory clock, all that good stuff. Now, Tricks Boost. It allows you to get in between resolutions that your monitor might not support out of the box. So, for example, we can see here 4K, 1440p, and Full HD. The resolutions look a little bit odd. You'll notice the resolution scale percentage is at 95%. So, if I drop this, you'll notice all these resolutions go down with it, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 90. Anything below 88, you might as well just drop the resolution to the next one down. Before I do that, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, just to show you the power of Trix Boost, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off right now, and I'm gonna do a pass of Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1920 by 1080. On here, we're gonna be able to see on the options, we can see resolution, 1920 by 1080, then below that, 1680 by 1050. It's important you remember those two resolutions. So I'm gonna to go to 1920 by 1080, okay, play. I'm also going to mute the music that's playing here because I actually got copyright notices while I've been doing some tests. This has been one of the most difficult videos to record. All right, so I'll go into options, display and graphics. We can see right over here, 1920 by 1080. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the benchmark. Now I'm gonna put in the bottom here on the screen the time that the benchmark ends. That, that way in case you guys wanna fast forward to it, you don't wanna watch the benchmark, you can fast forward to that time. So here we go. We can see right now we're in the low 70s, which is great. But sometimes you want to get more.
we got 76 frames per second, which is pretty nice, but we want a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead, drop out of here real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna open up Sapphire Tricks Boost. Click on Tricks Boost tab right up here. And we're gonna go ahead and drop it to, nah, yeah, let's do 90. And we're gonna go ahead and turn on Full HD. Okay, so when I click Apply, the screen is gonna turn on and off and all that good stuff. And then I'm gonna go ahead, turn this off, the capture card, and then turn it back on because it messes with that. Right, it looks the same, right? Well, it is. Nothing's changed on your desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Turn this back on. Now let's go ahead and open up Shadow of the Tomb Raider again. Okay, then we'll go to Options, and then 1920 by 1080. But now we have that new weird resolution, 1728 by 972. So we'll select that and click OK and press play. And like I did before, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the bottom the very end. So in case you guys wanna skip over, you can just fast forward to that time. Okay, so we go to options and displaying graphics. We can see right up here, 1728 by 972. So let's go ahead and run that benchmark. All right, so already off the bat, we can see we're in the 80s. So we've jumped about 10 or something frames per second. Again, that's without overclocking. Eighty-seven frames per second. So we gained 
10 frames per second with little to no image degradation. It looked, if not 100% the same, it looked 98% the same. The graphics are beautiful both ways, 1920 by 1080 and 1728 by 972. So, Sapphire Tricks Boost is awesome. Again, it works with all the five series and I believe it works with older series cards as well. I haven't tested myself, unfortunately, but you know, 1920 by 1080 is one of the most common resolutions. Then we have 1440p, just a step above, and then we have 4K. We can do that in all of those resolutions as well, the same way. Just turn it off here, turn this one on here, off and on, and then click apply. So it is pretty awesome. Now also, I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer so that you guys can check out my system in case you're curious on it, and then I'll talk you through a little bit more on it. the Sapphire Radeon Pulse RX 5500 XT. I apologize about the cabling. I've just been moving around a lot of things. I'm running on the EVGA Z390 dark motherboard with a 9900K processor, 16 gigs of Patriot Viper RAM, RGB. Beautiful RAM there with the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 360. I have it in the front because I was just doing some testing. I originally had it right up here. Okay, and with the EVGA G Plus 1000 watt power supply, right in there, hard to tell. All right, so you'll notice the fans are off right now, but the system's on. That's because they use the zero dB technology. So when the GPU is not really in use, to keep the noise level down, the fans turn off. When it needs it, it turns them on when the cart starts heating up. All right, so that's about it. Again, this is Iggy showing you guys what Sapphire Tricks Boost can do for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Now that you learned about Sapphire Tricks Boost and maybe you have a Sapphire, I think it also works if it's not a Sapphire. But I didn't say that. Um, give it a try. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, that's about it for now. All right, guys. Iggy out. See ya.